Hey, what's going on out there? I'm Sean Devine. Today I have a new tutorial for you all. This one is uh, a hip hop verse. I'm going to be mixing this verse for you all. And there's two things that I really want to um, accomplish in terms of showing you this today. And two things that I want you to be able to take away from it. And those are one, I want you to be able to get warm vocals even out of a cold digital kind of tone. Uh, so if you're using a, a cheaper microphone, cheaper preamp, or you're in an untreated room, hopefully uh, I'm going to show you some ways that you can get that warm vintage tone out of the vocal. Now secondly, I want to talk about how to blend the instrumental and the vocal so that they have that perfect kind of in the pocket feel. Uh, the number one issue that I hear from most artists and even engineers who are trying to mix their own material is the balance of the beat and the vocal is a constant struggle and either one is way louder than the other or they're just not blending and they're not uh, kind of grooving together. So I want to talk about those two things um, in the entire process of mixing this uh, verse from top to bottom. But let me go ahead and just play back what I have just dry. I don't have any effects or anything. I've got a couple of buses set up that we're going to use here in a little bit. Uh, but let me just play it back. The logo on the shirt, the tag on the collar, the brand of the jean got us all for the dollars. Marketing genius, the kicks go hotter. Design a refinement, detail in the fine print. Yo, that's advertisement seduction. It got us all sucked in for these endorphins and serotonin's release. And when we swipe the CCs, the seven jeans and the BB. And even when I know it's bogus, I still feel fresh in a polo fitted SL6 by B12. Go get it. The thing that get me is, how dare I say a thing about the gospel? But that's true religion, not denim, silk, sackcloth, ceramic, a man can make the call great dawn. Okay, so as you can hear, the dynamics are kind of all over the place. The recording, I acapella it for you. Uh, so that you could hear that it's not the greatest quality recording in the world. We've got some room noise in it, and it's it's sibilant. Um, Zach's vocals are generally pretty bright, and we have some S's that we need to treat. So there's a lot of stuff to do here. Uh, but the first thing I want to talk about is that balance with the uh, instrumental and the verse initially. So you probably saw me at the beginning. I turned the instrumental down just so that we could hear the vocal. Now, this is the tendency that many of you are going to have, and uh, just to make it easier on yourself so that you can hear the vocal and kind of mix it that way, you're immediately turning the beat down. Some of you a lot more than that, like maybe... On a shirt, the tag on a collar, the brand of a jean, got us all for the dollars. Marketing genius, the kicks go hotter. This so that's fine in the context of just you want to hear your vocal back or whatever. But when we get to the mixing process, that's not a good place to start because what's going to happen is you're going to mix it to that instrumental being at a less than optimal level. And then we're going to have to basically work backwards. So the best advice I have for you, especially when you're working with a two track instrumental, is go ahead and get the instrumental where it needs to be level wise. So let's just go ahead and put uh, an RMS meter onto the uh, master here. I'm going to put a level meter and then we're going to pull up RMS. And so in terms of where you want to be level wise, the uh, the master these days tends to be between minus 10 RMS, minus 6 RMS, sometimes even louder, but I'm trying to stay in that range. So I'm going to go ahead and get the beat uh, to that point if it's not already. Most of the time the producer's already mixed the instrumental and it's at that point which I produced this with uh, Jared Beats and we already have it at that level, I believe. <laughs> So it's at minus 11, that's fine. That's close to commercial level. Uh, probably bump it up a couple dBs for the master, but at least we've got some headroom there. That's good. So we wanna just leave that there and we wanna mix the vocal to the instrumental at that point. Now, it is going to make it more challenging 
because you're getting you have less uh, room to work with in terms of your headroom. But it's going to again just make the process easier, so we're not having to work backwards, turning the beat down. Uh, it's just going to make it a lot easier once we get into our compression and our effects. So that's where it needs to be. So now let's start jumping into our verse, and I'm going to mute the other layers. We just want to deal with the uh, the main verse layer right now. And I'm going to go ahead and route. Um, we'll just route these to bus one, which I've got set up for his ox. And the first thing we want to do is go ahead and just EQ a couple of things that may be problematic. I want to take out the low end for sure. The logo on a shirt, the tag on a collar, the brand of the team got a saw for the dollars. See a pretty big bump here from like 500 to a 1K. Sometimes that 500 to 800 can be due to some buildup in the room if you don't have a good treated acoustic space. So I'm just gonna roll off a little bit of that. Not too much. The logo on a shirt, the tag on a collar, the brand of the team got a saw for the dollars. So that's all I'll do in terms of a preliminary EQ. Uh, now I want to jump into our effects processing and really talking about the plugins I'm going to use to give us a warm vintage tone for this kind of cold uh, digital recording. So the first thing that I want to use is um, one of my favorite uh, plugins. It's, um, excuse me, it's McDSP Analog Channel. So I'm going to pull that up and I want to make sure and put the uh, tape type to vintage. That's going to give us a little bit warmer tone. And then we're going to roll off some of the high end. So let's just go ahead and solo it. The logo on a shirt, the tag on a collar, the brand of a jean got us all for the dollars. Marketing genius, the kicks go hotter. Design a refinement, detail in the fine print. So I'm just pulling that, uh, this bias here, and we're just getting a little bit of a roll off. And the vintage is just giving it kind of that tape saturated. It kind of softens things up a little bit. It's real subtle, um, but we're just going to start with that before we start going into compression or anything EQ. We want to kind of tame some of that harshness. Now, the next thing I want to talk about is uh, compression. So this is going to be the most important uh, processing that you're going to do in terms of getting the right balance between the beat and the vocal. Compression is so important. If there's one thing in mixing that you can really start spending the most time on now, I would highly recommend uh, just focusing on compression, especially with hip hop vocals. That's gonna help you out a ton. Uh, many of you have questions. I had a lot of questions when I was starting out of you know, what compressor do I use? There's so many different choices. And uh, for this one specifically, I'm going to use a certain compressor because of the warm tone that it's going to give the vocal versus some of the others are going to have different tones. So you need to experiment and realize that, yes, all compressors are the same by nature. They do the same thing, but they all sound different. They all have a certain taste and flavor to them. Uh, so anyways, I'm going to use the R comp, which it has a very vintage kind of tone to it. I think it's, it's designed um, to mimic a lot of the vintage compressors. Uh, so I found that that one will uh, really work well with kind of cold digital sounds. So let's just pull that up. And what we want to do is start adjusting some things here. I'm going to put the attack all the way fast. And then we're going to move the release uh, to about 250 or so. That should be okay. On a shirt, the tag on a collar, the brand of the jean. Important thing don't try to compress the vocal without the beat going because that's going to just totally mess you up. Again, the whole point of trying to get things in the pocket using the compressor is going to that's going to help you tremendously. So just don't do it uh, a cappella. Make sure and turn the beat on and then I'm going to start pulling the threshold down. The logo on a shirt, the tag on a collar, the brand of the team got us. And until we start messing with the ratio, it's at one right now, so there's no compression happening. But let's just pull it down a little bit. Now this gain control, this is makeup gain. 
essentially what's happening is is obviously the compressor is going to make the signal quieter so we're going to adjust the gain the on a shirt. just think of this as like a mix fader a regular mix fader over here we're just readjusting it after we're compressing the logo on a shirt the tag on a collar the brand of a jean got us all for the dollars marketing genius the kid now for hip hop you know something that's really dynamic you can see a couple of uh you know pretty heavy points here where the the volume is um changing quite a bit it's dynamic so we want a little higher ratio for the dollars marketing genius the kicks go harder design of refinement detail in the fine print yo that's advertisement seduction they got us all sucked in the so let's see here. Put on a shirt, the tag on a collar, the brand of a jean, got us all for the dollars. Marketing genius, the kicks go hotter. Design of refinement, detail in the fine print. Yo, that's advertisement seduction. So already we're getting that that bounce of that feeling that the vocal is sitting in the pocket. Now there are some things that we've got to do. We need to EQ, we need to soften up the S's, all that. But just with our uh, compression. A little bit of pre-EQ before we go into the compression. We're already getting that uh, vibe that we have got the vocals sitting pretty well with the beat. So that's what I was telling you. The compression is just so important. It's essential um, to getting that balance. So that feels pretty good. And now I want to bring in the second uh, vocal layer underneath that. So I'm just going to run that layer to the same bus. And then we're going to slowly bring that up with the main layer. The logo on a shirt, the tag on a collar, the brand of a jean, got us all for the dollars. Marketing genius, the kicks go hotter. Design of refinement, detail in the fine print. Yo, that's advertisement seduction. They got us all sucked in for these endorphins and serotonin's release. And when we swipe in CCs for 17. That feels pretty good. Now let's move on to EQ. We're going to do some additive EQ here. And um, I have a, a favorite, well, recent favorite EQ to give us a really warm tone. If you've seen my other videos, I have a technique of EQing where I heavily boost the high end, say from like 9K to 11K. I'll boost it really, really aggressively, and then I run it straight into a de -esser. So that's what we're going to do here. Uh, we're going to be using, again, the SI EQ, and we're just going to be, be boosting the highs. This is not giving us a uh, a frequency necessarily, uh, but just from listening, it's boosting in that range. So we're gonna heavily uh, get the highs going here, and it's gonna be harsh. It's gonna sound really harsh. The S's are gonna get very harsh. Uh, so it might sound kind of counterproductive to getting this warm vintage tone, but as we move along in the vocal chain, I'll show you how this is going to uh, resolve itself. The logo on a shirt, the tag on a collar, the brand of a jean, got us all for the dollars. Marketing genius, the kicks go hotter, design of a... So don't worry about it. I know it sounds really harsh, but we're just heavily boosting that range. And then we're going to immediately follow, follow it up with some DSing and uh, dealing with the sibilance there. So I'm going to use a different plugin now that uh, maybe you all aren't familiar with it's called the uh, triple d it's by waves manny mariquin um it's kind of a a multi-tool it's got a de-esser section in it, de-harsher de-boxy this is a plugin that i recommend to a lot of you who are having you know harsh recordings all the things that we're hearing in uh, this particular vocal de-boxy that's going to help you if you are in an untreated room and you've got just some weird kind of acoustic uh, reflections going on. So anyways, we're going to use the de -er and probably a little bit of the de -harsher. And I'm just going to turn these up until I start to see this attenuate. The logo on a shirt, the tag on a collar, the brand of a jean, got us all for the dollars. Marketing genius, the kicks go hotter. Design of refinement, detail in the fine print. Yo, that's advertisement seduction. They got us all sucked in for these endorphins and serotonin's release. And when we swipe in CC's for 17's in the BB. So I'm just kind of kissing the S's a little bit. Uh, but now we're going to do even a little bit more uh, in the DSing. I'm going to go to the waves. And we'll use the RDSer. The RDSer has a little bit different sound than uh, the regular uh, waves DSer. I like both of them, but um, we're just going to 
kiss this one just a little bit. The logo on a shirt, the tag on a collar, the brand of the jean got a saw for the dollars. Marketing genius, the kicks go hotter. Design a refinement, detail in the fine print. Yo, that's advertisement seduction. They got us all sucked in. The these endorphins and serotonin's release. And when we swipe in CCs for 17 in the BB. And even when I know it's bogus. I still feel fresh in a polo fitted SL65 B12, go get it. All right, so the last thing I want to do on the main uh, layer is I want to add a really warm kind of vintage reverb space to it. And I'm going to do something different where um, I would normally recommend that you put your uh, reverb on a bus. So just create a bus and send out to that bus and put, um, you know, your reverb there. But in this case, I'm going to put the reverb directly on the channel strip. And I'll show you why it just works well with this particular reverb. But I'm going to open up the uh, Classic Studio Hall. This is by IK Multimedia. It's just a, a really nice, warm reverb. I've had it for a long time and use it for a number of different things. But it works really well when you place it directly on the vocal channel last and then just have a very subtle amount mixed in. So... I'm also going to uh, dampen the high end. We're going to turn the high cut up. We're going to turn the time down. And we'll solo. The that. logo on a shirt, the tag on a collar, the brand of a jean got us all for the dollars. Marketing genius, the kicks go hotter. Design a refinement, detail in the fine print. So all we're doing is just masking that kind of not pleasant reflection that we've got going on in the room there. I'm not adding too much to make it real washy, just enough to cover that up. And it's going to make it sound um, more in the pocket, more blended, more meshed with the beat now. On a shirt, the tag on a collar, the brand of a jean got us all for the dollars. Marketing genius, the kicks go hotter, design a refine. So let's move down to our ad libs now. And we may make some adjustments to um, the verse vocals here in just a second. But I want to blend these in. The tag on a collar. So what I'll do here is we'll send this to a new bus. I think I've already created one, so we'll just send it there. And I'm going to copy this aux because we're going to use something very similar. So I'll just copy that to our AdLib channel. Just the plugins. And then let's... In this in here. The logo on a shirt, the tag on a collar, the brand of a jean got us all for the dollars. Marketing genius, the kicks go hotter. Design a refinement, detail and So what I want to do for those is uh, we're gonna send to a delay. An, again, a vintage kind of warm delay. So we'll just go to bus four, turn that up here, and then I'm gonna put the Echo Boy from Sound Toys. So let's go over to, let's try the Echo Boy Jr. Um, this is just a little bit more efficient version here. So I'm going to pull that up. And we're going to do probably an eighth note delay. Let me just solo it. Tag on a color. Off of and we'll try some of these different tones. I'm going to uh, adjust the low cut and the high cut. We're going to roll off some highs, give it kind of a gritty sound. Tag on a collar. The logo on a shirt, the tag on a collar. The brand of a jean got us all for the dollars. Marketing genius, the kicks go hotter. Let's do ping pong. The logo on a shirt, the tag on a collar. The brand of a jean got us all for the dollars. Marketing genius, the kicks. The logo on a shirt, the tag on a collar. The brand of a jean got us all for the dollars. Marketing genius, the kicks go hotter. Design a refinement, detail in the fine print. Yo, that's advertisement seduction. They got us all sucked in. But these so let's go ahead and compress this a little bit heavier. The low they got us all sucked in for these endorphins and serotonin. I'm gonna turn down that ad lib a little bit. They got go on a shirt, the tag on a collar, the brand of a jean got us all for the dollars. Marketing genius, the kicks go hotter. Design a refinement, detail in the fine print. And let's take a look at our other ad libs down here. These endorphins and serotonin's releasing. We'll be swiping CCs for seven jeans in the BB. So just some nice little variation uh, layering going on. 
So we'll do the same thing. I'm going to send this to the, uh, the second ad lib bus I've got set up down here. And we'll copy our channel strip setting and paste it. Now you can mix these differently if you want, but just for the sake of the video, I'm just showing you uh, how to get the levels uh, where they need to be. And um, I would probably change a couple of things, but um, I think this is gonna accomplish what we need it to. So we'll put this here. I'm gonna take the reverb off of this channel and I wanna make these ad libs really wide, give them a nice uh, tone to them. So I'm gonna put the uh, Matthew Lane, Dr. MS, mid side processing tool has a nice analog kind of tone to it uh let's just turn this to mono to stereo so i'll solo that it's just going to give us a nice layer and even when I know it's bogus, I still feel fresh in a polo fitted SL65 beach. Right, let's play it back. Lord, what is your plan for? The logo on a shirt, the tag on a collar, the brand of a jean, got us all for the dollars. Marketing genius, the kicks go hotter. Design a refinement, detail in the fine print. Yo, that's advertisement seduction. They got us all sucked in for these endorphins and serotonin's release And when we swipe in CC's for seven jeans and the BB Damn. And even when I know it's bogus I still feel fresh in a polo fitted SL65 B12 Go get it, the thing that get me is How dare I say a thing about the gospel But that's true religion, not denim Silk, sackcloth, ceramic, a mannequin made for the cloth draped on All right, y'all, so sounding pretty good. Definitely a long way from where we started in terms of having that cold, harsh digital sound. Hopefully you picked up a couple of tricks to warming up your vocals and also to really find that perfect balancing point between the beat and the vocal using compression as well as the other processing that we looked at in the video. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. If you learned anything in this video, please like and subscribe, and we'll talk to you soon. Lord, what is your plan for? The logo on a shirt, the tag on a collar The brand of a jean, got us all for the dollars Marketing genius, the kicks go hotter Design a refinement, detail in the fine print Yo, that's advertisement seduction They got us all sucked in For these endorphins and serotonin's release And when we swipe in CC's for seven jeans and the BB Damn. And even when I know it's bogus I still feel fresh in a polo fitted SL65B12, go get it, the thing that get me is